In this video, we'll show you how to properly wire the entry-level ETL version 2 panels. For proper installation, you need to have on hand a diagram that came with your kit. Please make sure you have the user manual for the access control panel. If the USB is not included in the package, you will find a piece of paper that was included in the plastic bag of the controller box, which will give you instructions on how to get the manuals and software. Please keep in mind that this software is only compatible with Microsoft-based computers. If for whatever reason you also did not receive the piece of paper, follow these instructions. Go to our website, visionistech.com. Then go to Products and click on Networkable Software Panels. If you purchase the two-door ETL controller, look for VS Access 2 ETL version 2.0 and click on the product. Here you will find links to download the user manual, data sheets, anything you need. If you purchase the four doors ETL controller, just look on the category page for the VS Access 4 ETL version 2.0 and inside the product page, you will also find all the links to download the documentation. Now to download the software, go to the support option in the main menu, click on Titan VS Access Desktop Software, and then click on the download software button. Warning, please read this carefully before installing this kit. If you need to pause the video to look at all the elements here, please do so. This part is very important before you install the kit. The most common applications for these devices are commercial, residential, gas stations, pawn shops, secret rooms, and hospitals. In this section, you'll see all the tools needed to install your system. Now, what we want to do is put these products on a workbench before you install this on your doors. It's important to do this because it allows you to get familiar with the units first. How to wire the readers to the control box. Attention, in this step, we will show you how to connect only one reader. If you have more than one reader, just follow this step the same way. For these steps, it is important that you follow the diagram on the door of the control box. We are going to give you instructions just to make sure that you are wiring it correctly. In this case, we are using a Wigan keypad and card reader. First, identify reader 1 terminal on the right-hand side of the panel. You can remove the whole green terminal block for easier connection. Now, grab your reader and connect the green wire of the reader to the 1RD0 terminal on reader 1. Connect the white wire of the reader to the 1RD1 terminal on reader 1. Then connect the black wire of the reader to the 1RD negative terminal on reader 1. Connect the red wire of the reader to the 1RD positive terminal on reader 1. Then plug the green terminal back in. Now we will show you how to wire one exit button by using the button and magnet terminal block on the right hand side of the panel. We will just explain how to connect one exit button. However, you will connect all other exit buttons to their corresponding terminals the same way. We are going to grab the yellow NO wire of the exit button and connect it to the AN1 terminal on the button and magnet terminal. Mm -hmm. 
Then we connect the green wire of the exit button, which is the COM wire, to the GND terminal on the button and magnet terminal. Connect the red positive wire of the exit button to the V positive terminal of the power supply that is underneath the board. and the black negative wire of the exit button to the V negative terminal of the power supply that is underneath the board. How to wire the mag locks to the controller box. For starters, we will use the positive red wire and the negative black wires from the mag lock. Keep in mind that we will show you how to connect one mag lock, but the connection remains the same for all other doors and terminals. First of all, you need to do a jumper wire between 12V terminal of the power terminal to the 1C terminal of output 1 terminal that are located on the left hand side of the panel. Let's grab the red positive wire of the mag lock and connect it to the 1NC terminal on the output 1 terminal. Then connect the black negative wire of the mag lock to the GND terminal of the power terminal or to the V negative terminal to the power supply that is underneath the board. For connection of a normally open lock, you will connect the positive wire of the lock to the 1NO terminal on the output 1 terminal. Connect the panel to the power and the LAN cable to the router. Now that we have done the wiring, you can go ahead and connect the power cord and you will see that panel, the keypad, and the exit button turns on and the mag lock engages. We will now connect the controller box to the router. Please keep in mind that the controller box does not include a LAN cable. Grab a LAN cable and connect it to the LAN port that is located on the upper left-hand side of the PCB board and the other end to your router. Since we connected a VIS 3000 series keypad, you need to put it on Wigan mode. To do this, press star, number 9 six times, pound, then press 3, 1, zero pound and star. Let's keep everything on and in the next video, we can go ahead and configure everything in the software. If there is some information missing in this video, contact us at this number on the screen or visit our website. Here is the link to the Titan VS Access software configuration video.